Hello there. Notice anything a little different? Maybe? Okay, I'm really geeking out about some new equipment around here for the YouTube channel. New camera, modified lighting, cool little mood lighting. And I wanted to come in here and pair all this newness that I'm excited about with some newness that you might be excited about as well. So you are about to watch the very first episode of a new kind of content type that I will be producing here on the channel for every single Friday for as long as I think it's a good idea, <laughs> as long as you're finding value out of it, which is feature Friday. I really need to come up with a better name, but that's the best I've got right now. Feature Friday is going to be all about highlighting a feature in ClickUp, the project management tool that I talk a lot about, talking about how you use it, how to avoid breaking things when using it, and maybe even some use cases about using that feature. This will be a deep dive into all of the core features that we can possibly think of when it comes to ClickUp. At this point, I'm planning on every Friday, if we get a lot of interest in this, it might get a little bit more frequent. If this doesn't seem to vibe with you guys, well, maybe this will not be a series after all, but I have good, I have good uh, thoughts about it. So here we are on episode one, and today's feature Feature is dashboards. We are gonna be talking all about ClickUp dashboards in this video and first things first, let's flip over and explain what dashboards really are. So dashboards are a place in the tool called ClickUp. It's a little feature that allows you to pull in data from all over your ClickUp as well as just some random stuff you type in to create visual dashboards, for lack of a better word, that pulls in your data in a way that you can structure how it looks. So for a lot of ClickUp, yes, it's flexible, but you're kind of forced to play within their rules. You've got, you know, list or board or Gantt or timeline or, 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 or. You have to work within the structure they built for you. The home view looks the way it does. The, the inbox view looks the way it does. But on dashboards, you can build your own adventure. Now remember, dashboards are a flexible space. You can drag and drop and resize things however you need to to make sure your data looks the way it does. But because it's not exactly Minecraft, you have to use the widgets that are available to you to make the things you want to make. You can build your own blocks, but the blocks have to do certain things. So that's where it's really valuable to know what the widgets, which is the term for like the blocks in the dashboard. You need to really understand what those widgets can and cannot do, what data they can read and cannot read. What are the limitations of each? Now, I think it would be pretty darn cool for a Feature Friday to dive into each one of these widgets. If you agree with that, leave me a comment below and that video will come. All right, so that's what a dashboard is. Second question is going to be, why would you use a dashboard? So why use a dashboard? The reason to use a dashboard is when you wanna customize the way things look, pull out things from several places in ClickUp and have one place to look to understand maybe the pulse of the project, who's behind, who's ahead, what do you wanna talk about? Something that's more macro that you wanna see from all these different areas in your ClickUp all in one spot, that is when you wanna use a dashboard. There are a ton of widget options here that can each be customized with unique settings to help you build out different views that you can either use for yourself to manage your projects, manage your team, manage your communication, manage your clients, provide a client portal, use for team handbook, use for team training, or you can use dashboards to collaborate with others. Again, team communication might be something here, using it as a client portal, like I mentioned before, but have the client actually work with you by sharing those dashboards with others. Right now, dashboards cannot be shared with a public link, but anyone who is in your ClickUp account can have access to these beautiful dashboards. I'm really struggling for a synonym here to help you look at your data in a different way, in a way that makes sense to you. This is a little bit more customizable than any other area in ClickUp. And I would not be surprised if next year, when we're talking about dashboards, these dashboards actually start being visualized in other areas. Like, you know, perhaps home view becomes a dashboard or perhaps dashboard is a view you can embed in a list. Who knows? But for now, that is the main why behind dashboards. When you want to create a more visual space where it pulls in things in different ways and makes it your your own dashboards are where you're going to want to go. Dashboards are going to be replacing, as far as I can tell, they're going to be replacing reporting features in ClickUp. I think we're probably going to be moving away from having that separate reporting icon and instead see more and more things into this dashboard widget flexible workspace vibe. And to keep things flowing, let's focus on number three. We talked about what, we talked about why. Now, finally, how do you use this tool without screwing it up? This is always the nice way to end every feature with a word of caution. So the things you wanna keep in mind about dashboards is that right now they cannot be shared with a public URL. So to actually use them with people, those people need to be in your workspace, rather as a guest, an admin, a member, an owner, they need to be in ClickUp to be able to engage with these. So if you're sitting here thinking, yeah, I wanna make a client portal as a dashboard, cool. 
as long as you're okay with your clients being guests in your ClickUp account. I have a whole other video on guest access somewhere around here. I'll link it or put it in the description below. The other thing to watch out for with dashboards is, well, they take some time to refresh. So as you're building out your dashboard, you might look at it. And if you're really looking for time sensitive information, there's actually a refresh setting that you can set for each dashboard. By default, it's manual only. You can click the button to force it to refresh. That's awesome. But for most people who need to have data in a time sensitive way, you're really relying on that data to help you make decisions. You want to change this refresh rate to be a little bit more often. So it's pulling in the data and making all the tables and charts and things accurate as the day goes on. The other thing to watch out for with dashboards is by default, they are visible to only you, which can be great for those of us who want to have dashboards for just us. But if you are looking to collaborate with others in your dashboard and your team might come and go or change a lot, it can be kind of a pain in the ass to go through and give access to that dashboard. Here's the thing. Dashboards do not follow the same rules as our spaces, folders, and lists. With spaces, folders, and lists, if we add someone to the space, it's safe to assume they're going to get access to all the stuff in it. But since dashboards are kind of outside of the normal scope of ClickUp, it's outside the normal hierarchy. It's kind of the rebels over here on the side. We have to give access to these dashboards manually. So it can be very frustrating when you're using a dashboard and you're trying to tag somebody or comment to somebody and you're like, why aren't they showing up? Well, the reason is probably because they are not added to this dashboard. If you have a team that's changing in size a lot, you're really going to want to keep an eye on this or set up some kind of automation. I don't know if there is one right now, but look out for that. I'm sure there will be soon to make sure that you always have the people who need to be in there in there, because if they're not, they're not going to get the notifications. They're not going to know what's going on. Another word of caution about dashboards is chat widgets are awesome, but also dangerous. Just like everywhere else in ClickUp, these chat widgets are not going to give a blast out to everyone who's shared in this area. So while you might add a chat view somewhere, same problem that happens there happens here in dashboards. Just because someone is able to see the view or see the dashboard does not mean they're going to be notified when you chat into that chat widget. Just like many places in ClickUp, you want to make sure watchers are actually identifying people you want to have watching that area. So yes, if I were in the chat widget and I were to tag somebody new, like if I were to tag Jen, it would add Jen as a watcher into that chat. She'd be notified in the future unless she removed herself as a watcher. But if you are using this dashboard for say company announcements, right? And you just share the dashboard with a bunch of people and you post an announcement, no one is going to see it unless they are also watchers on that chat. Now that's something you can do manually when you set up. But once again, if your team changes sizes a lot, you want to keep an eye out for this. If you have a team who hates being watchers on things and unwatches themselves a lot, keep an eye on this. Just something to keep in mind. Another note about dashboards is they can be duplicated and deleted, but they cannot be templated at this time. So if you're making a bunch of dashboards, just be prepared for a lot of data entry. Also, like I said before, dashboards cannot be shared. However, just a little happy note here, dashboards can be added to favorites, which can be kind of cool. So that is it for this feature Friday, all about dashboards in ClickUp. Now, as we went through this today, I was making notes to myself. I was like, hmm, this can be pretty cool to have a feature Friday about dashboard widgets. And if you agree with that, go ahead and put the comment widgets in the comments below. Let me know that you would be interested in a widgets deep dive feature Friday. The other idea I had as we we're going through this video is it could be very cool to just do a bunch of dashboard templates. Now I know I just said you can't template dashboards, but I can show you how we would build one and give you some inspiration for different types of dashboards that might be useful. That'll probably be not a feature Friday, but a long form video I could do with a bunch of different scenarios. If you are interested in that, let's just comment below use case. That is really not rolling off the tongue. Let's just say use. <laughs> and if you comment use, I will know that you'd like to have a use case about dashboards. If you comment widget, I'm going to know you're interested in talking a deep dive about widgets and dashboard. If you comment both use widgets, I'm going to think you just want to use widgets, but put a comma or something between them, then we'll, we'll be clear. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and do the thumbs up because that makes YouTube like me a little bit more. Also hit subscribe because it makes me like you a little more <laughs> and leave a comment letting me know some of your takeaways or voting on those two next type of contents so I know like what to put out next. Otherwise, I will see you back here for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. If you are tired of trying to piece together YouTube videos to figure out how to align your workflows, your processes, and your ClickUp account, well, maybe it's time that we talk. I work one-on-one -on -one with a select group of clients every quarter to help people build out their systems and processes. Find out more at processdriven.co.